hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl sierra love and i'm here with another video guys so today i am going to be establishing this makeup look this is like a cut crease um red i got pink in there going on inside this makeup um we're looking like very flushed i got a lot of blush on like everywhere guys like i just put it on as i was going and i just felt like it would look so good with this hair now this hair is so pretty i love it i actually bleached this um the other day with 50 volume developer this is 26 inches i believe yeah this is 26 inch unit and i just bleached like this portion of the hair because i i still wanted some of it to be black and then yeah it looks so pretty i love it i actually love this but today we're gonna be establishing this makeup look i guess you could say it's like a valentine's day makeup look overboard valentine's day makeup look not like a simple valentine's day look but i will say if i if i can that i do love this makeup look i think it's so cute i think it's so pretty and then you look so flushed you look so gorgeous so i love it i love it me personally i you you guys know me i would just go ahead and throw some freckles on here because why not I throw freckles on my face because I have freckles on my face. So that's why I'm on ice. You guys are probably like, oh my gosh, I don't know, Sierra, you look so amazing. But for me, it's like, I don't think I look like this. I need dots on my face. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, I hope you guys really do enjoy this makeup look. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I know you want it better, putting on the pressure. Hey guys so first and foremost i want to go ahead and take my hair out or actually i'm not gonna take it out i'm just gonna tighten it up because i want to do like a really quick but simple valentine's day look guys i know you guys probably like girls here we got a color going on i know i don't do loud colors like this but i just decided to hey it's 2022 what the hey right so, um, I'm going to just tighten up my hair a little bit more. But we're going to do like a cut crease. That's kind of the look that I want to go for. I hope I don't mess it up because I'm talking about it too much. But that's the look that I am going for, guys. So, guys, I am doing a very bare minimum look. My eyes are red right now because I did this little TikTok video. You guys will see it, but don't mind it. That's not the point of today's video. So, right now, first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is prime. We need to prime my face. I'm not putting on much makeup, but I still want... um my face to be a little bit primed underneath well not really much but we need to prime her okay we don't just do things no we don't and then i'm going to take my waterman and glow and i'm just going to put that under for just a finishing glowy look but that's what we do i'm going to put it all over but i am going to put it in some nice areas and then guys of course we're gonna go ahead and with our um 50 beauty concealer just to get our under eyes looking a little bit more lighter than what they're looking like right now and i'm not putting this like all over my face that's not what we're doing and then let's go ahead and blend it we want it everywhere um you can take residue and put it over your eye because we are going to be doing the eye baby so we want all this to be basically white because we're doing a bright color you just want the base to be as flat as possible yes you can outdo it but you know okay so so far so good i'm gonna go ahead and take my foundation we're gonna put on a little bit of foundation not too much again i'm not doing all that extra extra smuggler stuff i'm gonna spray a little spray on it you guys are probably like what the hell is going on here but this is a quick get ready with me date night type of um video not date night but valentine's day look very simple and definitely beginner friendly definitely beginner friendly of course let's do some on our eyebrows just a little bit okay guys then what i do is take my hand if it's clean we're gonna press on the brow just to lay it down that helps keeps it in place and then guys we can go ahead and clean up our brow just a little bit with the same um that I use I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on here just to sharpen our brow I start from the middle like 
like I said, I want to do something red. I have this palette. I got it from Amazon. This is how it looks. And these colors are so very vibrant. So I want to just um, use the reds in there to create my look. And again, this is going to be super duper easy because, again, I'm not doing too much. Let's go on with the dark color on the outside. I'm just going to make like a C. So from here, just like that. Now let's take red because that's why we're here. We're here for red. We don't care about that other color. With the excess, I'm going to fan it out. Oh my gosh, this is going to kill me. I have a um, a darker red, and I'm just going to make sure I stay like here with that dark red. You know? I like the tone, like in the colors. Then we take like a little pink and probably go here so we can even out that red. See? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, next thing we're going to go ahead and do, I have my, oh, here it is. This is like a flat brush. I'm just basically going to take our concealer and we're going to rub that all on this brush. Ooh. And this is how you get a cut crease. I close my eye and I literally just pat. Something like that, baby. It's so easy. I thought it used to be so hard and difficult, but girl, I don't care about the outside because we're gonna cover that up with red anyway. So once you get something looking like that, which is basically your cut crease, well, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take white eyeshadow. They have like a white eyeshadow in here. Let me wipe off this brush. They have a white eyeshadow in here, and we're just gonna go ahead and take that white. Or it's not white, but it's like a nude. You guys will see when I put it on. And I'm just packing that right there. You see? Oh! Yeah. We're makeup artists. We're professionals. I get so happy sometimes on myself when I figure out that I really do know how to do this stuff. Because we're just playing in paint. Like, we're just playing in paint, y'all. We're not those girls. We're not those girls. So, girl, since we here, I'm gonna take that same brush that I was using and should we do, let's do pink. And I'm just gonna do a pink here. I feel like the pink will show through the red, right? A little pink. Oh, that's so pretty. It's looking like a butterfly. Wasn't well, my intention. So then I'm going to take the red and just to like, since we have some patchy stuff here, I want to just go over with that red. You know? So that is not too noticeable, the patchiness. I'm a makeup artist. I does this. Like, I, I really do does this though. Let's take a brownish color just to put it like on the outskirts because we want we want darkness here we do want darkness perfect then i'm gonna go ahead and um let's go ahead and line this baby up because i'm not doing anything else this looks so good so i'm just gonna go ahead and liner where are you okay got you let's go ahead and use our eyeliner right here i just bought this one which is basically a dip one um so yeah this is our liner I'm barely learning like liner. You're supposed to line it up with this eye. I'm gonna use my NYX back bronzer and I'm just gonna go ahead and shape her up. Add a little warmth in my face. And you guys know, you should know by now, when you apply your bronzer, always go higher. Don't go low, go on the cheek. It, it, it really does lift your face up so much. Just go on the cheek. And then I'm gonna apply some on my forehead cause I don't want her to be massive in everybody's way jawline just a little bit oh i didn't even put any on my nose i'm gonna take a little bit to put on my nose just to bronzing it up to make it look so much structured then i'm gonna go ahead and take my blush and we're gonna take the blush and blush up our face guys we're gonna go ahead and take our blush and blush in our face up 
we want to be pink as pink as we can be for the camera and I'm gonna put some on my nose some people don't put it on their nose I put it on my nose above my lips and I kind of go here looks good cute and then I am gonna take a little bit of powder take some powder and snatch our face we want her to be snatched okay sis snatched and then I kind of use that same powder just to go here just like that nothing too much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My milkshake bring other girls to y'all. Damn right. It's better than y'all. Damn right. It's better than y'all. Okay. I know. I'm a fast one. I does this. So, um. So, we're going to dust off. Dust off. Dust off. Dust off. Gorgeous. And then we're going to go ahead and spray with our spray. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes. And, oh no. Let's. Ooh, wait line our lips girl my lips are already dark so what am i trying to do <laughs> mm, so pretty now we're gonna go ahead and put on our lashes one thing too that i learned over time like if you really want to show off your cut crease then the lashes you want to wear you don't want them to be too fluffy um because it's not going to show off your cookies like right now you guys until i blink you'll see the cookies but right now you probably just see pink i i i don't want to say i don't care but it's just that i love fluffy lashes too much it's coming together it's coming together this look is coming together so now we need to go ahead and put some liner on our bottom eyelid oh my gosh let's put on our mascara and baby we are done we're done basically and all honestly this makeup look looks so good it looks good and i did this fast oh girl let's put some up here too okay basically we're done okay so then we are going to um fix up this hair really quickly oh i just hurt myself let's do this hair real quick oh my god i just popped my freaking rubber band oh well so all I'm going to do is a quick curl here, something like this, oh. something like that, girl, yes, yes, on one swoop, on one swoop, who do you know? And this side, I'm just basically straightening it out because, girl, we need our hair to be straight. We want to look like we are those girls, like we just came from doing the most okay and i kind of want black to be showing pressing comb we don't really need that one that much and this is basically it okay guys so basically girl i need to go ahead and take this off i have a pink shirt on already but let me just go ahead and take this off and then um oh god because it's so hot in here like oh it's so hot you have no idea the good thing about me is I don't have to take off the whole everything because I'm a multitasker. So I basically just take this off and then I'm going to just put this over it because I feel like this is one of those shirts anyway where you're not supposed to do too much. You just put it on. So I'm going to just put on these earrings and then basically we're done. Okay, so I want to thank you guys so very much for sticking around throughout the entire video, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this makeup look, do not forget to go ahead and leave them down below. All, like, everything that I use, I will have that also linked down below for you guys. And I really hope you guys should, yeah, no. <laughs> And I really hope that you guys enjoy this makeup look. It is so pretty. It is so to die for. I feel, I feel gorgeous. Like, I feel so cute. I do. I don't care. Okay, guys. I love you guys so much. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies.